Hi there, I want to take a look at the final question in the Scottish text paper, uh, which is part of the critical reading paper in the National 5 exam. The final question uh, in, in, a, in a Scottish text paper will always be worth eight marks, and eight marks is clearly a hugely significant uh, number in terms of your overall grade, and so you want to give yourself the most, uh, or the best opportunity, sorry, for um, scoring as many of these marks as possible. And I found that often uh, pupils can arrive at this final question not with a clear understanding of how they're going to tackle it, and as a result, they just kind of write lots down but don't necessarily get all the marks because their answer isn't focused. So what I want to do today is to show you a structured, methodical way that you can work through this question to give yourself the best opportunity for scoring all eight marks. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to show you an example question and a sample answer based on a question on Jackie Kay's poetry, which is one of the popular uh, or the most popular um, Scottish text uh, um, authors that you can study at National Five level. So let's jump in and have a look at the question. So the given poem, remember you're always given a poem um, or a portion of the poem, and the one that we're looking at here is divorce. Um, and this is the final, the imaginary final question from the Scottish text paper. With close reference, sorry, with close textual reference, show how the theme of family relationships is explored in this poem and in at least one other poem by Jackie Kay. Now the first thing that you should do when you get your question is almost thinking of it like a critical essay um, question, in question where you, you want to identify the key phrase within the question to make sure that you are focusing your answer properly on the task. And the key phrase in this question is this, family relationships. That is the key idea that they are asking you to identify in the poem that you have in front of you, divorce, and also find in one or more than one poems by uh, Jackie Kay. So I would recommend that when you read your, that final question in the exam, you underline or highlight what you consider to be that key phrase, because that phrase is going to have to recur throughout your answer if you're going to make sure that your answer is properly focused on the task. So now we've done that, we move on to the first part of your answer. And the first part of your answer concerns this commonality. And what I have done, you'll notice, is I have put a heading. And I've written down commonality. And I would recommend that you do the same. That the first thing you write down in any answer to a final question is the word commonality. Because what that does is it signals to the marker that you are answering this in a logical and structured way and it makes it easy for the marker to find the marks in, in your answer and to award uh, them to you. So commonality as a heading I would recommend is a good place to start. And lo there's lots of confusion I think over what commonality is, what does that mean and, and crucially how do you get the marks for commonality. And I would su suggest that, that what um, what this question and what any final question in a, in a Scottish text in paper will, will give you, it's kind of like um, they're giving you a, a band, a rubber band that fits round the poem that you've been given in, in the exam paper. So th what they're saying is that divorce is about family relationships. It's about family relationships. And what the commonality portion of your answer really requires you to do is to stretch that rubber band just a little so that you can also fit inside it another poem or another couple of poems by the same author. And so you can apply this idea of family relationships just a little bit wider. So you need to add something, add some sort of um, uh, you know, idea to this idea, or the idea that you're given of, of family relationships in order to come up with a commonality. And if you look at the sample answer, perhaps that's the clearest way um, to, to demonstrate this. 
you'll see that what I've done is I've mentioned I've mentioned um, divorce, which is the given poem. So I've said in divorce and bed. So I've mentioned straight away the other poem to which I'm going to re refer and the other poem that I'm, co I'm comparing um, divorce to. So in divorce and bed, Jackie Kay explores the theme of family relationships. Now there you can see that I've just lifted that phrase directly from the question. But I need to enlarge that idea just slightly so that it now contains both divorce and bed. And so what I've done is I've added in this little phrase that are strained. Okay, so bed and divorce are both about family relationships. But interestingly, in both divorce and in bed, these family relationships come under some kind of strain. They're, people are, are bickering or falling out or not getting on very well. And that, that idea is common between both divorce and bed, that the, that the family relationships are strained. And just by adding that little extra idea onto the idea of family relationships, it allows me to get my commonality marks. And you'll notice that there are two marks on offer. You don't have to write a lot for commonality, but what you need to do is think a little bit. And what you're looking for is just to enlarge the key concept of the question just enough that you can fit inside it, not only the poem in front of you, but also the other poem or poems that you want to talk about. So yeah, we've got our two marks already for our commonality question, six more to go. So let's look ahead to what we've got um, uh, in the next section. In the next section, you can see, again, what I've done is I have, I've made a head, I put a heading, given poem. I'm wanting the marker to be to be totally clear about where um, where I'm seeking to draw the marks from. Given poem. So this is going to address what the given poem is, which is divorce. And you'll notice that I've bulleted also my answers just to be to make things um, clearer. And it's simply a quote and a comment. One for the quote and one for the comment. So two marks. Now, it's, it's important to understand that it is a maximum of two marks that are available for um, analysis and quotations from the given poem. So you don't want to find yourself quoting three or four different things from the given poem because you'll only get marks for one of them. Similarly, you don't want to you know, find yourself providing you know, half a page or three quarters of a page of analysis on all these different quotes from, from the poem that's in front of you, because you can only get one mark for analysis and one mark for a quote from the, the poem that's directly in front of you. So here I've gone for, you never ever said a kind word. That's my quote and it gets me a mark. And then here's my comment. Use of absolute terms suggests the limited an immature perspective of the speaker revealing the source of the strain within the parent-child relationships of this family. Now, I want you to notice that this anal analytical comment uses virtually the same phrase as we used in the commonality uh, paragraph, and that phrase was present in the question. Because we've got to focus our analysis on answering the, the task. But we have also used the keyword strain, which was the, um, the, 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 the phrase that we used to just enlarge the, the, the key concept enough that we could, we could get the marks for the commonality. Now, the, these two, two phrases, you know, family relationships or relationships in a family, and strain or strained or something like that, these phrases have to recur in all of my analysis if I want to make sure that my, my answer is focused appropriately on the task. So that's my two marks for commonality and then my two marks for the given poem. So where are my other four marks going to come from? Well, my other four marks are going to come from my analysis of the other poem. And you can see that, again, what I've done is I put I put the heading other poem bed just in case there was any just in case there was any doubt 
um, as to, to, to what I was going to be answering on. And you can see that all it is, is it's just two quotes and two comments. And I've bulleted them again to set them out in, in an orderly way. So from bed, I've got this, this expression, we didn't ta ta talk or we didn't talk anymore, mayor. And what I've said is it shows that the speaker and her daughter have become disconnected through a lack of communication, revealing the strain on this relationship within this family. And there's that, that kind of phrase again, relationship within this family. And we've also got our keyword there. Sorry, we've got our keyword, which is, if I can get this to work, strain. There we go. And in my second a, a couple of, of bullets, we've got our quote, great heaving sigh. And my analysis again shows the speaker's great frustration with the superficial conversation that she and her daughter have indicating the strain I can't get this to work the strain can I get it to work nope let me see if I can get it to work the strain there we go we made it the strain in this relationship with the family and of course there's our other phrase again relationship within the family there we go so you put that all together two marks for the commonality two marks for the given poem and four marks for the other poem that you know or poems because you could potentially get two marks from bed and perhaps two marks from another another poem in, in, that you studied by jackie key but this is a very structured, orderly way of setting out your answer. And setting out your answer this way will give you the best possible opportunity for scoring all eight marks, which in the context of your whole exam could be hugely significant. So I hope that you understood that. I hope you get it and I hope you're able to apply it to get the best possible mark of which you're capable in the final exam. All the best.